There are two primary types of die head designs. Here is a radial flow die head. Plastic from the extruder flows to the die head, then makes a 90 degree turn as it splits and flows around the mandrel. Then the two plastic flow fronts rejoin on the other side. The plastic that flows around the mandrel travels a longer distance, and so it loses pressure. This plastic on the far side now flows at a slower rate. To try to even out the flow, a choke can be included, either in the mandrel or the die head. Some die heads have an adjustable choke built into the die head body. Where the two flow fronts meet, at the far side of the mandrel, a weld line forms. It can be an area of weakness in the blow molded part if the molecules do not become thoroughly entangled. To improve the bonding of the two flow fronts, a separate choke is often used to increase the overall plastic pressure in the die head. The other die head design is the axial flow. The plastic flows over the top of the torpedo and down. One of the advantages of the axial flow die head is that the amount of flow resistance and pressure loss are the same all around the circumference. Weld lines occur, but they are stronger because the plastic rejoins more quickly with less flow disturbance. Since the plastic flow distance is the same all around the torpedo, a choke to adjust flow is usually not needed, but a choke around the entire circumference may be used to increase pressure above the choke and improve weld line strength. Here is an axial die head design called the Parison over Parison design. The plastic flows through spider passages in two different layers. When the flow fronts of each layer rejoin, there are weld lines but each layer's weld lines are covered by another layer, so the weakness and the parison is minimized. 